James Holder for Eiffel TV in association with Max's Jim Marbell. With me, I've got Dave Caldwell. We're in the home of Tony Bellew's beloved Everton. Um, firstly, how are you, Dave? I'm very good, thanks. Really good. It's uh, it's first time I've ever been here. He's been he's been threatening to drag me off here. <laughs> <laughs> he's been threatening to drag me off here, but um, yeah, I had to come up today. So the most passionate man probably in UK boxing, Without Tony Bellew. Yeah. And what what does it mean to him to actually get the chance to fight for a world title in this ground? It means everything to him. He's uh, he, that's all he's been talking about. It's, you know, it's. it's don't get me wrong, he's always wanted to be world champion, he's always wanted to fight for a world title. But um, to fight here in this you know, in this stadium where he comes, you know, he's been here since he was a kid, coming and supporting his team, he's he's, he's one of the most passionate fans that you can have, you know, he's 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 ever and nuts. And um, to be fighting here for a world title, it means everything to him. That's all he's been going on about it. Since, since the possibility, the first talks of possi uh, the possibility of him fighting here for a world title. Uh, that's all he's been banging on about. Looking at Alunia Makabu's record, he looks like a very dangerous competitor. 90% mm. KO ratio. Yeah. Suffered defeat on his first fight, according yeah. to his box rec. Then gone on like a 20, yeah. 20 fight KO run, if yeah. you like. So, very dangerous. Uh, yeah, he's, how he's much very do you? Dangerous. How much can you tell me about him? Um, basically, I've just been, you know, since since we first got told about this fight, um, there was a possibility. I've been looking at him and, and, and watching him. Is uh, there's quite a few of his fights there. Um, yes, he's boxed some some nobodies. He's boxed a couple of very good fighters as well. Um, but it's, who it's would what, you say the best standout name is on um, his record? Well, the name wise, it's Glenn Johnson. But it was an old Glenn Johnson. It was yeah. Glenn Johnson right at the end of his career. Um, yeah. But but he still you know still got rid of, of Johnson and stopped him. Uh, Kucha is a very good win. Uh, Fields was a good win. Um, the guy can fight. He can punch. He's got an immense work rate. Um, I spoke to a lot of people out in South Africa. Uh, a lot of people in in the states that know of uh, Macabu, and everybody that's uh, everybody that's, that's, that's that work with quite a lot, and they they're close enough to to be honest with me. They're all telling me that my guy's the underdog. Um, I understand that. I understand that. Everybody rates Macabu. He's he's a he's a very destructive body puncher. He's got a world class left uppercut. He's got he's one of these guys that gets fitter as the fight goes on. So it's going to be a very very hard fight. But um, you know. Tony sticks sticks to his uh, game plan, stays disciplined, and I, I think the key for this is, is his discipline. If he stays disciplined, then um, it's going to be a great night in this football stadium. Well, what will you do, and how do you think Tony will handle the occasion? I mean, coming out for a world title in front of such a such a big local crowd for him in his sort of place of dreams, yeah. if you like. What will you say to him to keep him calm, and how, how do you think he'll handle that pressure? It's, it, listen, it's, it's all about. It, it, he's, he's a very professional fighter. You know, he's been in an in intense situation before. The Cleverly fight was a lot of pressure. You know, he knew that he knew about the movie coming up, um, and the, the the rivalry between him and Cleverly. So it was, you know, it, he had a lot of pressure on that fight. This is a different different kind of pressure, um, <laughs> but he'll handle it because he always does. Maybe I can ask him myself. Just don't be so. Uh, he's gonna like be, be impartial, and it's gonna be this. Gonna be, I'm gonna take his fucking head clean off. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him so hard in the first ten seconds. He's just gonna go, what the hell was that? <laughs> then he's gonna go into some kind of like, should I survive or should I fight back? And then all of a sudden, this place is just gonna erupt. I mean, imagine what this place is gonna be like with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of scousers going absolutely nuts and not just scousers do you know what i think this is kind of taking everyone by surprise because no one thought it was possible so mm. least of all me mm. oh let's just wait may the 29th we have a new world champion and someone who not just wants to be a world champion but wants to unify the division straight away We've i'll seen leave the rest to you coach as last I was saying, question, some... last before you go, uh -huh. how are you going to handle the pressure of such an enormous occasion in front of all the There is no pressure, fans? I've already won. It's happening here, so I've already won. I'm <laughs> fighting him at Goodison Park, mate, so there's no pressure. There's no pressure greater than what I put on myself. The only pressure on me is to get home healthy and safe to me three kids. That's the only pressure. Top man, Tony. Listen, I'm going to catch you after the press conference anyway. I'm sure That's you'll right. catch me, along with the hundreds of others. <laughs> See you soon, champ. As I was saying, he's not very excited. No, he is. He seems pretty calm. Glad he's not getting over passionate. On, <laughs> on that note, I think the press conference is just about yeah. to start, so we better go in and take, let you take your seat and that. And, uh, Cheers, mate. I'll catch you soon. Catch you in a bit. Cheers, Dave.